It's that time of year again to health check all our brush tailed rock wallabies and we're hopping to it up here at the Ark. We've just finished health checking all of our brush tailed rock wallabies and over the last three days we've caught all 19 of them up. We capture them early in the morning to avoid the heat of the day and we try to capture them as fast as possible to reduce the amount of stress we put on them. Back here in the corner. Every one of our captures has a 20 minute limit in each enclosure to help reduce the amount of stress we are putting on each of the wallabies. Coming around. And then place them in a hessian sack which will calm them down instantly. We then start performing the super comprehensive health check on the wallabies. Yep. This begins by scanning their microchip and finding out who the individual is. 3130, Dean. That's Jolene. Beautiful. And then we weigh them. 5.14 kilos. Beautiful. After we weigh them, we give them a body condition score, which is a scale between one and five, three being the perfect score. She's got a fair bit of fat there and she's feeling quite good. So I'd say she's a three, which is an ideal score. I mean, she's perfect. I agree with that. Awesome. We then give each of the wallabies preventatives, which helps protect them from diseases and parasites. We also give them an intramuscular injection of VAM, which is a multivitamin, which helps reduce stress in macropod species. Beautiful. The final step of the health check is the most exciting, as it's when we check each of the female's pouches to see if there's a joey inside. So just checking her pouch here now, and she's got a tiny little joey in it. It's probably the size of a grape, so super little at the moment. It's always a good sign seeing joeys in the pouch. So these guys can have up to three joeys at a time. So there can be one at foot drinking a certain type of milk. She make a different formula for the one that's in her pouch and also be pregnant with a third at the same time. So we're just checking the pouch and there's a joey in there, which is super exciting as we haven't put a male in here in a while. So it is showing embryotic diapause. I'm happy to say that all of our brush tail rock wallabies pass their health check with flying colours. It's great using these health checks to make sure our wallabies are happy and healthy and they're thriving in their enclosures and it's always fun releasing them knowing that they're in prime condition. Oziak has been breeding and rewilding brush tail rock wallabies for over four years now and our work here is a strong contributor to making sure this species doesn't go extinct. Now if you'd like to help us up here at Ozark with all the vital work we are doing, please head to ozark.org.au.